My daughter stopped saying, love, I love you, my oldest daughter, when she was 14. I used to try to coerce her. You've seen how we do it, you know. I love you. <laughs> she would say, me too. I said, say it. She said, I just did. 14, 15. 60. I love you. Whatever. <laughs> 17, 18. When I left her at college, I held her in my arms. And tears streaming down my face, I held her at arm's length and I said, I love you. And at 18 years old, she said, me too. I wept all the way home. A couple of months later, they asked me to come and speak at my daughter's school. I love being up here. I love every moment of it. God has created me with a strange, this strange mind. I'm not afraid. People say, you're a liar. I'm not a liar. I'm not afraid. I want to be here. I want to be here now. I want to be here all the time. I don't want anybody else to be up here. I want to be here. <laughs> But I was petrified when I went to her school. Absolutely petrified. I stood in front of that audience and delivered my message. The chaplain asked me to go out for lunch. My daughter had to go to a class. He brought me to an Italian restaurant. He reached into his briefcase and he pulled out a stack of cards about that high. He said, in all of my tenure at this school, I have never seen such a positive response from our students. And he read several of those cards to me. And I was so gratified. They liked me. Then he pulled one out of his pocket. And he said, here's one I think that will interest you. I was eating spaghetti. I looked on the front, and on the front of the card was my daughter's name, Tracy Lynn David. Do you know I've jumped out of an airplane at 8,000 feet? I flew to Alaska and crashed twice. I love stuff like that. <laughs> but I didn't have the courage to turn that card over. It's only one thing worse than knowing that that wound isn't healed, and that's to think that it might be torn a little wider. Finally, I turned it over and written on the other side in big round letters, the eyes dotted with hearts were these words, I love my daddy. I spit spaghetti all over the table. <laughs> I ran for a little bathroom that they had there. I closed the door and locked the door. And I was like a child. I said, oh God, she loves me. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't know there was a guy in there. <laughs> now, I'm a comedian, but I didn't say that to be funny. There was a guy in there. And he scared me to death. <laughs> I'm going, oh, she loves me. Thank you, Jesus. And this voice goes, get a life, man. 